Hi everybody, Draw Ninja Casey here once again with the answers to your questions about anime glass art. I hope you watched part one. If you did not watch part one, go and watch part one. I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, watch part one before you watch part two. Or you can watch part two and then watch part one. As long as you watch them both. Okay? Now, at the end of this video, I will be announcing the winning names for, that's right, I said names. I know I, I, know I said I was going to give away one anime glass painting starter kit, but I was feeling generous, so I'm going to give away the anime glass painting uh, starter kit to two lucky subscribers, okay? So they may be you, so watch until the end of the video to find out if one of the two is you, all right? So let's get started with the questions, continuing on with these great questions you guys were giving. First question for part two comes from Cubing07. Cubing07 asks, is there any way to thicken the paint? Yes, there is a way to thicken the paint. If you're probably using thin paint, which is probably cheap paint, um, there's a way to thicken the paint and it is called cornstarch, that's right. You can buy a box of cornstarch and you can add it slowly to the paint that you want to thicken until the paint gets to the consistency that you want it to, okay? So definitely try cornstarch. It works. It actually, it actually adds a bit of quality to the paint too. So um, the answer to your question, cornstarch. Question number two comes from Ali Anacaro. Anacaro. Ali Anacaro. <laughs> All right. And she asks, how do you hang them on the wall? I can't find a video on it anywhere. Well, there are a few people who hang them with um, tacks. They'll kind of like put tacks on the four corners of just the glass, right? And I always thought that was a dangerous thing because, you know, if the glass falls, it could break, it could hurt someone. But usually when I do my glass art, I put it back into the frame like, like so, see? Just say, you know, just pretend there's a beautiful piece of glass art here. All right, you know what? Let's get one with an actual beautiful piece of glass art, which we'll go with Rengoku. All right, so I will usually put it back into the frame, and these frames that I use are um, the format frames, and they're front-loading, so they don't have the borders, So and they load from the front. So I use these frames um, for two reasons, because they expose more of the art, but at the back, you have the hooks for if the drawing or the painting goes the long way, you can hook it onto your wall, put a little thing in your wall, and then hook it onto that. Or if it goes the vertical way, hook it onto this. Now, this also serves as um, one of the little wedges, so you can actually put it on your on your nightstand as well. Um, it has it right here. It comes with a little trinket right here. You can see I, I already took it off. Now you can screw into here and you can then use the the frame to stand up on like say a night stand this way or this way and um it's how i do the end of the videos where you see me showing the finished product i use basically the little trinket here screw it in and it stands still or like on a nightstand and i can move it back and forth and you can do the same thing vertically okay next questions come from um, Nagato Uzumaki. <laughs> Nagato Uzumaki. Okay, so, and the question is, um, is it possible to seal the painting later on? How do we seal it so it doesn't peel off? It is not necessary to seal the paint. Once the paint dries, it becomes its own seal. If you want to seal it, if you feel better about having it sealed, I would definitely recommend Mod Podge. Painting, use it at the back of the painting to seal it in. It dries clear and you will feel a lot better. Okay. Uh, next question is from Angelina O. And her question is, I use an identity pen and when I apply paint over it, it some, uh, some of it starts to crack and disappear. What should I do? I'll tell you what you should do. You should actually start using uh, better quality paint. If the identity pen cracks and breaks away because you're using paint on it, it is because the paint you're using is low quality and it is breaking up the 
the alcohol in, in the IdentiPen. Or you can try using the oil-based Sharpie, which is um, a great quality pen and uh, my go-to pen these days for using lines, okay? So, but I suggest if you have the Sakura IdentiPen already, go ahead and like try to use a better quality paint, okay? All right, next question comes from Vanessa Meza. Meza, Vanessa Meza. Okay, her question is, how did you read my mind? I needed this video. Saw what I did there? <laughs> okay, next question comes from Moonfire the Nightwing. If we wanted to make the skin lighter, would we add more white or is there another way to do it? Dude, white equals light. All right, Mary Barnet asks, I've watched other artists use a thin layer of Mod Podge before tracing or drawing the character on the glass. Would you recommend this? I know exactly why they use the Mod Podge. All right, and it is it is actually a good thing to use if you're using something like the um, Posca pen to do your lines because a lot of times with the Posca pen, if you use it with acrylic paints, it starts to break down the acrylic paints and the lines get destroyed because uh, acrylic paint is water-based just like the, uh, the Posca pen, all right? So what happens is they interact with each other and they kind of mix with each other and that's what breaks down the lines. What you do with the Mod Podge, and again, a thin layer, and use the matte finish if you're gonna use it. Use the matte paper finish, all right? What you do with that is once you put down the line with the Posca pens, you put a thin layer over the Posca pen. Thin layer so when it dries, it can't even be seen once you start applying the paint. And what that does, it is it protects the the line work, it protects the Posca lines from interacting with the paint because you're basically putting a shield over it. And then now you can apply the paint without the Posca paint and the acrylic paint interacting because of the sheet of Mod Podge between them. If you do find that your paint is destroying the lines, that is definitely something I would recommend. Next question comes from Dream Breaker. Hello, I recently got to know your work and I admire it. Thank you, Dream Breaker. Um, I am a beginning artist. I have a question. Do you use reference for your anime glass painting? If not, can you make a video on that? Um, and if yes, won't it be a copyright issue? Mm, not really. Well, when you say reference, um, it's not like a drawing. Okay, when I'm doing the anime glass painting, I'm basically transferring. I always call it a transfer, transferring the graphic from paper or whatever, the digital onto glass. It's a transfer. So transfer entails basically just tracing over the graphic that you find and then coloring it the way you, you see it colored on the paper or the computer or what have you. So you're transferring from where you see it to where you want it to be and basically all artists transfer. When you do a portrait, you're transferring the, the likeness of the face from the in front of you onto the paper, okay? Everything is transfer. So it's a transfer method. So there's, there's no, there's reference, but there's no reference. It's not, like I said, it's not like I'm doing it to where, you know, I'm changing this or changing that. Exactly what you see is exactly what you transfer, okay? So the reference is basically the picture that you're tracing, okay? <laughs> I hope that answers your question. And there won't be any copyright issues because I, fair enough, I would think that if all these anime companies wanted to give us a hard time, they can just launch all these copyright complaints with YouTube, so on and so forth. But they are smart enough to know that every picture, every art, every reference to their anime product, their anime character, their anime video game, whatever, is free advertisement for them. Why would you want to stop free advertisement for you? you they're not even paying. Like all the things that they want, they get when, when people do uh, like 
glass paintings of the character because it gets people to see the painting, gets people, people curious about the character, curious about the anime, and then what? They go find the anime and look at it and then they become a fan. And the companies are smart enough to know that that is priceless. So I don't think there's ever gonna be a copyright issue as far as that's concerned because it's free advertising for the companies, all right? Celia Nayeli Hernandez asks, I'm gonna start glue, I'm gonna start doing glass painting. Do you have any tips for finding the right colors? Um yeah, watch my videos, especially the one about how to um create the right skin color for your anime glass paintings, okay? So that's your answer. <laughs> uh wis sis <laughs> WSSS. S, 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 <laughs> asks, where do you get your glass from? Well, I get my glass from two places. I get my glass from digblick.com, which I can put a link in the description below, or amazon.com, all right? So I'll put a link in the description below to both places, and you can choose where you want to get the glass from. Okay, Jana Sitoy asks, this is amazing. I also tried using the Sharpie oil-based marker, but I'm having a hard time removing it once I make a mistake. How do I manage to get such amazing line art? Well, that's easy because I make mistakes all the time. And the one way to do that is just to scrape it off with an X-Acto blade, okay? Or a sharp blade, all right? so. Better to just get an X-Acto blade. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get some good quality X-Acto blades. And once you go out of the line or what have you, just you know scrape it off and you can go back over it again with the oil-based Sharpie or just clean up the edges of the line if they're jagged or you know if one line goes where it's not supposed to, you can just scrape it off. Easy as that. Don't try to wipe it off, not gonna work. But if you scrape it off on glass with an X-Acto blade, works perfectly. Next question comes from Elif Altene. All right, Elif Altene asks, why is my eye dentipen after drawing? It is faint and not opaque. All right, here's the deal, all right? With the identipen, which is one of the reasons it's my second go-to, not my first go-to, the identipen over time starts to fade. Okay, so when you, when you start using it at first, it's very sharp, all right? And then over time, of course, the nib starts to get broad and the distribution of the ink gets a little less. But the other thing is that you also need to not press that hard on the identipen, all right? Easy strokes, but don't press hard on it because if you do press hard on it and, it's, and it is new, even if it is new, the lines are not gonna come out as opaque as you want them to. Right? So stop pressing hard on the identipen, and after you see it starts to fade, you either want to use another one or you can switch to the oil-based Sharpie, which is my number one go-to because the paint is very thick, very opaque, always stays opaque, and the nib um, is, is always very solid, um, even over time. Okay, so that's the answer to your question, I hope. <laughs> Arco FN asks, I remember in, in all the videos that you used and recommended tester paints. Do you still use them? Okay, I do not still use tester paints and I'll tell you why. Because of the smell. Tester paints are great, really, they work really great for anime glass art, but the whole room smelled like the paint after I was done. Ugh. And it was getting annoying to my son. <laughs> so I stopped using those and you know, I think I'm better off for it. Plus, uh, you know, you have to use paint thinner to get them off the brush. And I didn't like the idea of constantly being exposed to paint thinner and constantly being exposed to uh, the smell of the paint, all right? So that's why I don't use or recommend tester paints anymore because, you know, I mean, if you can stand the order, fine. They're great for, for glass painting, but I recommend just go to acrylic paints, okay? Um, okay, Chirac, Charlie, Vlogs, and more. Oof, you guys have some interesting names. Last question from Chirac, Charlie, Vlogs, and more. 
ask, do gel pens work? <laughs> no. All right, so now the big announcement, okay? The big announcement of the two winners, that's right, two winners for the anime glass painting starter kit all right and just so i'll let you know before i even announce these winners i also will be selling those on a soon to be announced website okay all right so here we go first winner from the dominican republic esther santana yay esther congratulations to esther santana for winning one of the anime glass painting starter kit. Esther, I really enjoyed your comment and I really like what you had to say. And I picked you cause that was the name that came out of the bag. <laughs> when I, you know, put my hand in to pick out the names that I put in the bag. So, but your comment was very nice and I thank you for your kind words. All right, now, when on my do, okay? Um, are you ready for this, Miss Miss Castle, Miss Grace D Castle? That's right. Grace D Castle is the winner of the second anime glass painting starter kit. Thank you for your kind words, Grace. I am so happy that you like my artwork and my videos. Okay, and I hope you guys get a great use out of this anime glass painting starter kit again uh, for those who didn't win i am sorry i wish everybody could win but i will be selling the anime glass painting starter kit soon on our soon to be announced website so you guys stay tuned it'll have great stuff for you guys to just you know start your anime um anime glass painting along with you know instructions and things like that okay so stay tuned for that i'll be launching uh, an announcement video coming very soon all right but congratulations to the two winners and thank you guys for watching the video and i'm hoping i'm hoping that you guys learned a lot from this video if there are any questions that you guys have uh you feel you feel that i didn't answer let me know in the comment section below and i can get to it in my next video answering your questions don't know that when that will be but it will be all right so thank you for watching and as always, this is Draw Ninja Casey saying, I'll see you next time. Whoa!